Hey guys, it's Krista again with Cubicle Blindness, and today I'm coming with you, coming at ya, with another book review. And this one is The Devouring by Simon Holt. And earlier this month, I read Dreams of the Dead by Thomas Randall, and I thought that was one of the best books ever. But if you compare that one to this one, there's just no comparison. The Devouring was awesome. First of all, I was creeped out on parts of this book. It's a young adult novel, so don't get me wrong. It could have been creepier, but for young adults, this book is a great Halloween read. And I'm, I picked it up on Halloween and read it. And <laughs> There were parts in it that I was literally like, when I opened, trying to get through the page, because it was like, ah, icky, icky. Um, but you guys will definitely have to pick up the book to see what part I'm talking about. And I think you'll know right away what part it was. So, I absolutely adore this book. I'm so glad it's a series, because I didn't want it to end. So, it's about Reggie and her friend Erin there in high school. Uh, they're both uh, big horror fans. They enjoy horror movies and books. Uh, so one day, Reggie at her work, which is also a bookstore that specializes in um, horror books, she comes across a journal-looking book, and it's uh, about the vowers that take over people's bodies on sorry night which is the longest night of the year and happens right a couple of days before Christmas so uh, they decide to play games um, on sorry night her and Aaron to try to conquer their fears so that they don't get taken over by the vowers it's kind of just a you know a, like a Bloody Mary kind of joke it's just they're playing games but it happens that Reggie's brother does get um, taken over by the Vowers on that night because he was he succumbed to his fears and it gets really creepy from then on Henry starts becoming a different kid he's he only the Vowers kind of show you know through Henry because he, he gets creepy and all of that to Reggie and Aaron but to their Reggie and Henry's dad, he's still playing Henry, because he looks like Henry, but he's been taken over by this vower that takes his body, that lives inside his body. So, and, uh, Henry, Henry and Red, not Henry, um, but Reggie and Aaron find out that they have to go inside of Henry's fearscape to conquer the vower to get Henry back. And, it's one of the best descriptive novels that I have read in a long time. Simon draws you into this whole freaky world of like all the scary things that you think of as a child and kinds of has you has you battle through them with Reggie. It was a great read. I loved all of the characters. I didn't want it to end and I'm so glad that there's more in the series. And I am speechless when it comes to anything more about this book. I absolutely loved it. I put it way above any book, any other young adult book besides The Hunger Games, I think, for my reading this year. It's definitely one of my top five books of the year. So if uh, you guys like to get a little bit scared and are looking for something new and exciting and haven't read this yet, you need to go check it out. Happy reading.